Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, thank you for tuning in again. One of the central reasons behind aircraft altitude is that as the air gets thinner with every foot climb, aircraft can travel more easily and therefore move faster and burn less fuel. But how high can they really go? Well, although many jets could fly at higher altitudes, they are usually certified to an altitude giving a wide safety margin. Not all of them can fly up to a certain altitude, so today we'll present the 10 highest flying combat aircraft in the world. We will not include those which are no longer in service like the SR-71 Blackbird, so let's jump right into it. At number 10 is the Sukhoi Su-27. Also known as the Flanker, it is a Soviet-origin twin-engine supermaneuverable fighter aircraft designed by Sukhoi. Primary users are now the Russian Air Force. Powered with a pair of Saturn AL-31F afterburning turbofan engines, its service ceiling is 19,000 meters. Up next at number 9 is the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. The F-15 Eagle is an American twin-engine, all-weather tactical fighter aircraft designed by McDonnell Douglas, which is now a part of Boeing. It is powered with a pair of Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW220 afterburning turbofans and it can go up to a maximum altitude of 19,697 meters. Number 8 on the list for the highest flying combat aircraft in the world is the Eurofighter Typhoon. This is a twin-engine Cano Delta Wing multi-role fighter. The Typhoon was designed originally as an air superiority fighter and the engine used is a pair of Eurojet EJ-200 afterburning turbofan engines. It can go up to a maximum altitude of 19,812 meters. At number 7 is the Shenyang J-15. Also known as the Flanner X-2, it is a fourth-generation twin-jet all-weather carrier-based fighter aircraft developed by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. Power plant include a pair of Shenyang WS-10 afterburning turbofans and it can fly up to a maximum altitude of 20,000 meters. At number 6 is the Chengdu J-20. Also known as the Black Eagle, it is a single-seat twin-engine all-weather stealth fifth-generation fighter aircraft developed for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. It is powered with a pair of WS-10B or AL-31 FM-2 and its service ceiling is again 20,000 meters. The fifth combat aircraft with the highest service ceiling is the Dassault Mirage F-1. This is a French fighter and attack aircraft designed and manufactured by Dassault Aviation. It is powered with a single Snagma Attar 9K50 afterburning turbojet engine and its service ceiling is 20,000 meters. At number 4 is the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. This is a single-seat twin-engine all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force. Power plant is a pair of Pratt & Whitney F-119PW100 augmented turbofans and it can fly up to a maximum altitude of 20,000 meters. Up next at number 3 is Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25. Also known as Foxbat, it is a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft that was among the fastest military aircraft to enter service. Powered with a pair of Tumansky R-15B-300 afterburning turbojet engines, it gives an altitude of about 24,000 meters. At number 2 is the Lockheed U-2. The Lockheed U-2, also known as Dragon Lady, is an American single-jet engine high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft operated by the United States Air Force and previously flown by the Central Intelligence Agency. Powered with the General Electric F118-101 turbofan engine, it can fly up to an altitude of 24,000 meters. And now at number one spot is none other than the Mikoyan MiG-31. Also known as Foxhound, it is a supersonic attack aircraft developed for use by the Soviet Air Forces and now currently in use by the Russian Aerospace Forces. The engine used is a pair of Soloviv D-30 F-6 afterburning turbofan engines and it can fly up to a maximum altitude of 25,000 meters. And that's it guys for today, we hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can become a part of our Buzz family. Thank you for tuning in, bye bye.